All I can say is, don't hate. There's been a bit of a controversy online about the Purito sunscreen. So I am disappointed that Purito claimed that this sunscreen is SPF 50. Hey everyone, welcome to How Chic. Today I have an unboxing for you and this is a package from Wish Trend. For Black Friday, they had a lot of discounts and I saw up to 60% off a lot of their items. So I just had to go in and grab so many things. Um, not so many that I'll be in a mountain like my previous Laneige haul. These were things that I really wanted to get but never managed to get around to purchasing them and I just want to show you what I got. So these are very popular items in the skincare world and I got some of them and I'm really excited to try them and here's what I got. So it came in a box like this, it says Wish Trend all over and it came bubble wrapped just like this. So I really wanted to try some products from I'm From. They have some beautiful products there and they have beautiful packaging and they have really premium ingredients. They are a little bit pricey, which is why I bought them during this Black Friday sale. So I'm really excited to show you what I got. The first thing I got was this rice toner and this says that it has 77.78% rice extract and it says that it contains the best rice grown from yoju where the origin of rice is so what it does is that it delivers clean and clear skin and makes skin smooth so that the skin is glowing from the inside out and this is the map of where the rice came from in korea so it comes in a plastic bottle i think previously they used to have the glass bottle but I think they changed it back to the plastic because it's a lot lighter and the glass bottles were too heavy and actually contributing to more carbon emissions when they're transporting it. So that's why they did that. This is 150 mils and all you have to do is shake it up and swipe it on a cotton pad or tap it in your hand to be absorbed. So this one is really good for, apparently it's really good for dry skin, it's very hydrating and very soothing but also I love anything that is very brightening for the skin which I am thinking that this one will do. So that's the first item. The second item is the rice mask and this is also from I'm From. This is 110 grams, it also shows the map of where the rice came from so this is what it looks like it's in a glass packaging and it also comes with a spatula all you have to do is apply a small amount onto damp skin and then gently massage over the face and rinse and follow up with the rice toner so i'm not sure how long you should apply this for um, but i reckon it's only a few minutes and then you can just rinse this off but they have tiny, tiny little grains in there. I'll let you know how I think of this and it looks super cute. So the next thing I got from I'm From is their rice cream. So this is 50 grams and the first ingredient is rice bean water, 41%. Then water, glycerin, butylene glycol. So these are all very good humectants and they draw moisture from the air and into your skin. And also they have some beeswax, shea butter, so that really helps to seal in all of the goodness by creating a barrier for your skin. And they also contain dimethicone, pentylglycol, and hexadiol. So what that does is that it gives the barrier to the skin and it prevents transepidermal water loss, which is perfect in a face cream and that's all I'm looking for. I don't care about all the humectants and anything in a cream. I just care about the emollients. <laughs> it's in a glass packaging, super pretty. And I love how this whole set is very matching 
There's something about matching uh, skincare that really, it's just really satisfying. Even though you don't need to have everything from one skincare line for it to work, I just like the way it looks on my vanity table. That's just my personal preference. So that's what it looks like. And that's everything I got from I'm From. Super excited to try this. So then I got two sunscreens and there's been a bit of a controversy online about the Purito sunscreen. So I do have the Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun SPF 50 and this famous post on insider.com they posted about the results that were from an independent lab in Europe following the EU requirements for SPF. They said that the SPF level of the unscented version of this sunscreen was not SPF 50. And people have had their doubts about them. So they show that the filters for the sunscreen are so low on the list that they questioned whether that it actually provides SPF 50 and kudos to them who actually looked into that. And it turns out that the SPF 50 claim was not correct and it was actually SPF 19 plus minus around three. Now they only tested on the unscented one. They didn't test it on this scented one or the comfy water sunblock. What are my thoughts on this? Um, so I am disappointed that Purito claimed that this sunscreen is SPF 50, but at the same time it is difficult to know whether you can trust companies and there's also a lot of steps along the way to produce a product so i don't blame purito as the brand but i think the way that purito has responded was very transparent so they did talk about the purito sunscreen being made in this manufacturer and they make very amazing products i don't want to bash purito because i really do love their products i really love their serums i love their um i really love their essence as well and to be really honest i really love this and the comfy water block and i don't want to hate it but at spf 19 yes it is a disappointment but at the same time it's not the worst thing in the world it's not like it's spf 5 or something like that but it is very far from spf 50 and if you feel like it's doing more harm than good then i don't think that is true so I am going to continue to use this but be cautious that it is SPF 19 as opposed to 50 and I'm not going to hate the brand because I really do love their other products and this is just some hiccup that happened and I guess as a company they they are just gonna have to deal with it um, but also learn from this mistake which I think any person company will have to do when it comes to SPS that come from this company which such as the Dear Claire's UV Essence I mean take it with a pinch of salt they have very similar formulas but you, you can't say that it is always the same products like you I don't know nobody knows because you have the list of products you don't know exactly how much is in each of them Another thing that you can think about is the batch of products that they tested on. I mean, there could be variations, but variations of this to this scale might be quite a big hiccup. All I can say is don't hate, don't give too much hate on Purito. They've made a mistake and we should all be very forgiving of each other. And they've done the next steps. So they are testing any of their sunscreens to see whether they are living up to their standards of SPF 50. And we just have to wait for what they have to say. I mean, it's good that this has been flagged up. It is quite traumatic for Purito, but I really think that they can take the steps forward and improve from it because I just, I have faith that they are doing the right thing and that's all I can say really. <laughs> this is the Dear Claire's UV Essence and it is also from the Now Cosco Limited. This is what it looks like, it's in a white bottle and it's quite a large size of 80 milliliters. So the good thing about this is that it has glycerin, niacinamide, panthenol. It does have a few essential oils in here but I think 
given that it is a maybe good sunscreen i would say that yes i i could potentially like this so i'll wait for the results of whatever dear claire's has to say about this and i'll take it with a pinch of salt right now that this is spf 50. so the next thing i got was also from dear claire's it's another sunscreen now this one is from a different manufacturer from the Purito and the Dear Claire's that I've just showed you. This one is the Midday Blue UV Shield and this is from a company called Cos On Co Limited. It's a very different um, company from the other two so maybe this could live up to the standard I don't know but the good thing is that I think more sunscreens nowadays are being vigorously tested. This is what it looks like. It's in a blue bottle and it was also 80 milliliters. One big thing that I do notice between the two ingredients lists is that this blue one, the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide is very high up on the list. So I have high hopes that this is actually giving a good level of protection. So this also contains dimethicone, Propenidiol. This is very good for preventing transepidermal water loss and it also does contain um, essential oils and fragrance. But I think if you have a fragrance free most of the time in your skincare then I think it's fine and SPF is actually the most important. Even if it is SPF 19 it still gives some protection so it's fine. And then the last thing was, this is really cute, it's like a little travel um, shipping box which is so cute, it's got like a little QR code, wish trends, some like tape and some stickers, caution, good skincare ahead, that's super cute. So in here they have some samples for me and oh, so excited, I love samples. So here they have some mini samples like that and they're in little sachets. This one is the rice serum from I'm From. So this can add to my rice collection. Then I have the Dear Class Essential Oil Free Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. So I've never tried this before. This looks interesting. Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. The Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. A Supple Preparation All Over Lotion a rich moist soothing cream that is everything that i got i hope you enjoyed this video where i talked about what i got um, but also about my thoughts on the whole purito controversy all i can really say is that please 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 don't throw away your sunscreens because of this controversy if you are afraid that this is not giving you the level of sun protection you need this also works as a very good moisturiser. It has niacinamide, Centella Asiatica, and it's got a lot of really good moisturising and hydrating ingredients in here. Take the research out there with a pinch of salt, but don't hate on any company or any Korean skincare as a whole. Just try to do your own research on what you think is the best for your skin. It is very confusing out there and I personally can be very confused too. I'll look for trustworthy sun filters that can actually fulfill their job. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Today is Saturday. I'm filming on Friday. But if you like this type of video where I unbox or I talk about any updates in the skincare world, then please do like and subscribe. And if you want to chat to me anything about beauty, fashion or luxury goods, then please do message me on how she and I give you all of my hugs and my love. Bye.